Right, so at this point, we have shaped out our terrain into something that is satisfying. I mean, we could go back and work with it for hours on end, probably. Of course, and that's with this small texture. I mean, if you were using one of the large ones, you'd be here for weeks. Oh, yeah, like a really high-resolution height map, so you get all kinds of detail into the terrain, and then maybe go back to the terrain toolkit and add some erosion and all sorts of fun things. But we're going to keep things relatively simple, and we'll go ahead and move forward with what we have. However, before we get into texturing, there is something I do kind of want to... I want to modify our project just a little bit. There are some more terrain assets that are available over on the Unity website that I want to download and get added into our project. You can find these, if I hit my Windows key, we can find these here. You can see uh, we have the Terrain Assets Unity Package. Now all I did was go under Support and click on the Assets link. And it's at this time, until they update their website, which of course could always happen, uh, there's a Terrain Assets link right here. And all you're going to do is download this. It's relatively small. It's a quick 35 meg download. Once you have it, we need to bring it in. And we're going to do this the same way we did with the Terrain Toolkit. We're going to go under Assets, Import Package. And we need to go to where we downloaded it to. So uh, it's under my U drive, Source Assets. And here are the Terrain Assets. When we double click this, it's going to ask, hey, would you like to uh, bring all of this stuff in? Now, if you already knew for a fact that you weren't going to need things like fern meshes and you didn't need things like bushes and that sort of thing, you can selectively pick and choose the stuff that you don't want and make sure that you're only bringing in the stuff that you have. It's a good idea. It keeps your, your project nice and snug, nice and, nice and compact, uh, not overly bloated. But since this is just kind of for training purposes, and maybe at some point you will want to make half of your world snow and the other half a beach jungle, you know, we'll just go ahead and bring everything in. So we'll click import. And we'll give this just a minute to bring all this stuff in. If you haven't already loaded this in and downloaded it uh, and you want to follow along with me, you need it because this is where the snow package and, uh, or I'm sorry, the snow texture and some of the other assets that we'll be putting on the terrain are actually hiding. So if you've skipped this, you're going to be like, but, but I can't put down snow. Everything seems to look like jungles and beaches for some reason. And this just doesn't have textures in it. It actually has some trees. And oh, yeah, it has all kinds of stuff. There's textures. There's, uh, there's tree models. There's rock models. There's some bushes and all sorts of things to make your terrain look a lot nicer. So for the first time you use it, I recommend you just bring everything in and just play with it. In fact, it's not even a bad idea if you're just trying to get more familiar with what's available to build a, a test level and just paint a little bit of everything on it just so you can see what each thing is and you'll know for future reference what they are and so you, you know which ones you're going to load and which ones you're not. And of course, we're just going to kind of sit here while it loads... Uh, now, I'm pr if, uh, unless this progress bar jumps over the next couple of seconds, you may not actually get to see it end because all I wanted to do in this video was point out that there are some additional assets that we will be using and that you need to grab those off the Unity website if you plan to follow along. They are free. You are licensed to use them for or any Unity projects that you may have. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and end the video as soon as we come back, this will all be loaded in, and we'll be making use of these new uh, new assets while we start decorating our terrain by creating the, the various textures for it, and then we'll move on from there with trees and whatnot. So I know we're right in the middle of a progress bar, but that's going to wrap things up for this video. <laughs> Thanks a lot.